well, just a little bit, just to go through it. So when we're identifying the median, basically what we want to make sure we do is, the main important thing about the median is it's the middle value, but only when your data set is ordered. So we have to make sure we order. It doesn't matter if it's ordered from least to greatest or greatest to least. We just need to make sure it's ordered. I typically, Julian, um, like to order it from least to greatest, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to find the lowest value, which is going to be 14. And I'll just cross it off. Um, I don't know why I did that, but that's OK. 14. And then the next lowest one is going to be 65. I have 65 again. Then I have 70, 71, 72, 78, 87, and 88. Do you guys see how I'm kind of crossing them out as I go? Otherwise, you could fall victim to writing it twice or forgetting about it, right? So that's a very small little helpful hint. Um, the next thing, so now we need to find the middle values. So we basically can kind of count how many values we have. We have nine, right? So um, the middle, so one, two, three, four, um, five. You could see that 71 should be the middle value as you go one, two, three, four values to the left, and one, two, three, four, four values to the right. So therefore, the mode is 71. So our mean was 67.8. Our mo median was 71. OK? The only thing I want to add on, guys, what if I added an extra number? OK? What if you have an even set of numbers? Then to find the mode, what you do is you need to take the mean of the middle two values. So what you do is you do 71 plus 72 divided by 2, which is 71.5. Does everybody understand? So if it's odd, it's easy. It's just that middle number. However, if I add an extra number, then you've got to find the mean of the two middle values. Does that make sense? Anybody have any questions on that? OK. 